Hello, Fawn here with Icon Art, and today I am going to show you how to make a two-part stencil by combining two pieces of artwork and then subtracting one from the other so that you can have uh, two different stencils and you can then stencil the two different colors easier. So, hope that makes sense, but let's just get right into the tutorial. And today I'm gonna to be using Vector. It's a free online graphic editor, but this same concept would apply in any design program, Illustrator, uh, so, Silhouette Studio, Design Space, Inkscape, whatever one you use. The tools might just look a little bit different, but the concept is definitely the same. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna be using Vector today. It's just a website that you go to, vector.com and sign in. So I already have my login uh, established. You just create a free login. It's very easy to use. It's very beginner friendly. So if you're not familiar with creating artwork, this is a great program to start with. So I'm just gonna create a new art. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do print and then eight and a half by 11 because that's what size paper I'm printing on. Okay, so then she sent me the artwork that she wants and what she wants it to look like. So it's very helpful when I'm filming these tutorials to actually see the artwork. So this is what, this is just a screenshot, but this is what she wants it to look like. So this flag with this blue horse over the top, but she wants it to be on two different stencils so that she can screen print it easier. And it's very easy to do when you are starting with SVG files, which she did send me. So she actually has both, she actually has both of these pieces of art in vector format, not just this image, which would be a lot more difficult to separate. You can do it, but it's more difficult. So I'm just gonna upload the two SVG files that she sent me. So the American flag, just gonna scale that down a little bit, and the cowgirl. <laughs> All right, so like I said, both of these are vector artwork already, which makes it a lot, lot easier. So let me get this ungrouped. The, the you can whoops you can see how my transform box is bigger than my artwork. I don't want that to be like that. So I'm just gonna ungroup it and see what I got going on here. Okay, so it just separated those, which I don't need. So I am going to select my flag, and you could just group it. I'm actually going to unite or combine it all together to be one. So I'm gonna use that unite button right there in the Pathfinder. All right, so now say you know what size sign this is gonna go on. You can either, you can freeform scale this down, of course, but I say I know that's gonna be you know seven inches, so I'm just gonna make mine seven inches. And then if, as long as I have this lock button right here clicked, well then it will scale it proportionally. So it works really easy. All right, so I'm just basically setting up my artwork the way she has the image set up that she sent me. Just make that blue and put this approximately how she has it over there. So we'll say All right, that's pretty close. All right, so now I can get rid of this. I don't need that anymore. So this is the artwork. Like I said, she wants to put this on two different stencils and she wasn't sure how to do it. Uh, so the quick and easy way would just be to copy this, paste it. I mean, both ways are really easy, but I just wanna show you both. And then you would just turn this horse to white and get rid of the flag down here and turn this to black. So that's all you would do. <laughs> uh, that is one way to do it. Um, now when you go to print this, the horse will be knocked out of here. So essentially you're creating a knockout by putting white artwork on top of black artwork. So this is still a horse that can be moved around though and it could get accidentally shifted. To avoid that, all you would do is instead of making your artwork white, you would use the Pathfinder again, select both pieces of artwork that you want, so want the, um, the flag and the cowgirl, and then up here there's this Pathfinder, and we're gonna use the subtract option. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna subtract the piece of artwork that's on the top from the piece of artwork that's on the bottom. So it's just gonna knock that cowgirl right out of there. And now, that is no longer live artwork. That cowgirl is gone. It's not white artwork on top that could be shifted around. It is knocked out of there completely. 
So if I would move this over here on the gray background, you can see that that's, that is its own piece of artwork now. You can't get that cowgirl back. So that would be the second way to do it. And yeah, that's the, basically the two ways. You could also, of course, add registration marks if you want. I have another tutorial on that where you can see if you would add little squares to make lining up the two colors a little bit easier. Um, another thing that you could do, say you, want, you don't want the blue and black to touch. Well, if you would add a, let's see, a border in white around that horse, and then that will create that sort of effect that, you know, so the, the inks aren't touching each other. That's optional, of course. And in this case, you would only want to change this to white, the fill to white. If you do the subtract option when there's a border or a stroke on your artwork, it won't subtract that stroke. So you would not want to use a subtract method or option in this method, at least in vector. In other programs, it might operate a little bit differently, but in vector, you would just want to use the knockout method um, where you just change the blue horse to white if you're going to put a stroke on it like this. So that's all there is to it if you want to combine different SVG files and then separate them out onto their own stencils. I hope that all made sense. It's much easier when you start with SVG files. They're so much easier to edit than image files, so strongly recommend using a vector file when you want to do these kind of methods. If you have any questions, as always, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more tutorials on how to use vector, more in-depth tutorials, check out this playlist here. My name is Fawn, and I share tips and tricks on how to make and use icon art stencils. So make sure to hit that subscribe button.